With last year's Resident Evil 2 remake proving to be a runaway success, raking in huge profits and winning numerous awards, it would only make sense that a remake of one of the most beloved entries to the franchise Resident Evil 3 would come next. The developers haven't wasted any time in doing this as they're keen to capitalise on the popularity of the latest release and they've already announced that the remake of Resident Evil 3 will be coming this year. While they have kept a lot of cards close to their chests, they did let some important details spill about what gamers can expect when they play it and that's what we're going to be looking at today. So be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell because today we're going to look at everything we know about the Resident Evil 3 remake. Number 1. The Trailer The first trailer for Resident Evil 3 dropped during Sony's State of Play broadcast on 10th December 2019 and immediately set the gaming world alight with buzz. In it, we see various quick shots of a zombie-infested Raccoon City before the date September 28th appears on screen, the in-game date where the story picks up. After this, we see a first-person perspective viewing of someone running through a house and away from some terrifying monster, trying to barricade doors and escape through fire escapes as they go. After running down a fiery hallway and bursting through a door at the end of it, we see Jill Valentine in full HD glory for the first time. After this, the trailer turns into a more traditional one, letting us see some of our old favourite characters and giving us the lowdown on what happened to this place. You gotta get out of there! You guys are the ones who caused all of this! No, 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 wait! Oh, come on! Ah! After the title card appears, we get a post credit sequence showing the chilling creation of the game's villain, Nemesis, followed by a release date, which brings us to number two, release date. One of the things fans wanted to know most while they were watching the first trailer was when they could get to play the game. Thankfully, they didn't have to wait long to find out because the trailer ended with that very information. The game is scheduled for release on April 3rd, 2020 and will be available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Windows PCs. This is a lot sooner than many people had expected and given the reaction from gamers, it seems that it's gone down very well. The Resident Evil 2 remake is still fresh in the minds of many, so it makes sense that Capcom would want to get it out as soon as possible, but make no mistake, this doesn't look like a rushed cash-in job, quite the contrary in fact. What the hell? How could this many people be infected? <sighs> Which brings us to our next point. Number 3. Massive Upgrades the first thing that fans of the series will have noticed upon watching the trailer is the huge graphical upgrades on display. Now, the original Resident Evil 3 had decent graphics for its day, but we can't deny they look incredibly dated by today's standards. Luckily, Capcom appeared to have spared no expense in bringing the remake right into the modern day with graphics that look as good as anything we've seen on current gen consoles. Much in the same way that it was thrilling to get to explore Raccoon City Police Department in fully detailed HD in the last year's Resident Evil 2 remake, getting a chance to explore more of the city in the same detail this time around is a huge selling point. Jill Valentine looks great too, sporting more realistic cop attire, and she has a familiar tank top and miniskirt outfit from the original game. We're getting serious vibes of post-reboot Lara Croft here. The other major player, Nemesis, also looks nightmare-inducing in the brief glimpse we get of him and supporting character Carlos Oliveira not only sports a brand new look but has also reportedly had changes made to his personality. Other than the game's graphics, the gameplay has seen some upgrades too, with the often maligned tank controls of the original being replaced by more modern over-the-shoulder third-person ones. We're particularly happy to see this one because those tank controls were always a nightmare to deal with. But then again, it turned up the suspense and fear that you experienced in the game. Number 4. PC Requirements PC gamers always have that extra worry that console gamers don't, in that whenever a new AAA game comes out, they have to worry about whether their computer will be able to handle the specs required to play it. Well, fear not, because the minimum requirements have been released already. The game will run via Steam on Windows 7, 8 and 10 and requires 8GB of memory RAM and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 760 or AMD Radeon R7 260X graphics card with 2GB video RAM to play. The recommended requirements have still yet to be released, but you can expect those soon, but at the very least you now know if it meets the minimum requirements. Number 5. No Delays According to Capcom, the release date for the game is set in stone and there will be no delays, so fans shouldn't be disappointed by the time spring rolls around, as they have been with so many other titles in the past. In an interview with Japanese gaming website Famitsu earlier this week, 
The game's producers, Peter Fabiano and Masachika Kawata, said that the game is 90% complete, so should be finished well within the timescale set for it. Now, of course, things can always change last minute, but given the confidence of producers in these comments, we're going to choose to take them at their word and be thankful that the game is so close to completion, because we don't want to wait any longer to play it than we already have to. Number 6. Nemesis Yes, we briefly mentioned him already, but as probably the most memorable part of the whole game, he merits an entry all of his own. Nemesis is the big bad of Resident Evil 3, and is well remembered for unnerving players of the original by appearing at the most inopportune moments in the game, and forcing them to decide whether to fight him or run away. It seems that Capcom have really gone the extra mile to keep both fans of the original happy as well as provide some upgrades to the villain. We've seen the graphical changes from the trailer and it's also notable that he has his iconic stars line that gave so many gamers chills whenever they heard it back in the day. Stars. He also appears to have some kind of mask on in the early sections of the game, the reasons for which are yet to be revealed. Capcom have said that Nemesis will have more ways than Tyrant from Resident Evil 2 to track down his target Jill Valentine this time around. This appears to tie in with the information revealed, as stating that he will be a lot more intelligent, far more so than Mr. X, with the ability to make decisions based on what the player has done, stalking you and hunting you down in a number of different ways that aren't limited to the fairly simple AI he had in the original game. He also has new weapons, this time around including a flamethrower, and he appears to have the ability to leap across high bounds to get to you. It looks like staying away from Nemesis or even fighting him if you're forced to will provide a far more strategic challenge here. One still shows Carlos Oliveira briefly taking him down with a rocket launcher, suggesting that high levels of firepower may be required just to slow him down long enough to get away. He also won't just appear in scripted sequences, but instead will be an omnipresent force so you always feel like he's lurking just around the next corner. And if that wasn't bad enough, when you do come across him, he can now run after you and will be fast enough to catch you. Given what the team did with Mr. X in the Resident Evil 2 remake, making him appear in both scenarios instead of only being limited to Claire Redfield's run, we can expect a few surprises from Nemesis in this game too, which quite frankly gives us the fear just thinking about it. Number 7. Pre-order and Collector's Extras what would any modern AAA game be without pre-order extras to entice fans to shell out cash ahead of the game's release? It appears Resident Evil 3 will be no different in that respect as Capcom has announced that those who order the game before April 3rd will get an exclusive classic costume pack which includes Jill Valentine's original Resident Evil 3 outfit and Carlos Oliveira's original hairstyle. On top of that, North American fans will be able to get the limited GameStop exclusive Resident Evil 3 Collector's Edition for $180, which alongside a physical copy of the game will come with an 11-inch statue of Jill Valentine, a hardcover collector's art book, a double-sided Raccoon City map poster, and a digital Resident Evil 3 soundtrack. For reference for those who are interested, the Jill Valentine figure will be the same scale as the Leon Kennedy statue from the Resident Evil 2 Collector's Edition, which seems like a great deal if you ask us. Number 8. Only One Ending One of the hallmarks of the original Resident Evil 3 game was the points in the story where you could make choices that would eventually determine which of the game's ending you got. An example of this was choosing to negotiate, fight, or run away from Nemesis, which caused a butterfly effect of changes that might even have led to him firing a rocket at you in the final battle. Sadly, it looks like that element of the game has been removed this time around, as Peter Fabiano confirmed in an interview with PlayStation Magazine. It appears that the real reason for this was so Capcom could focus on the singular story they want to tell this time, and while this will be disappointing for some fans, he did confirm in the same interview that there may be connections to Resident Evil 2 that weren't there in the original game, so this seems like a bit of bad news turned good. Number 9. If it ain't broke. Much in the same way as Capcom have hinted there will be new elements to this game this time around, further connecting it to Resident Evil 2, there are other changes affecting the story and gameplay that we should expect to see when it's released. After the trailer drop, there was some initial speculation that Resident Evil 3 would include a first-person perspective, but this was shot down unfortunately. The producers, however, have said that this version of the title will lean a lot more heavily on an action, run-and-gun style of gameplay in comparison to last year's Resident Evil 2 remake. It looks like this game has been entirely remade based on this premise, so it's possible even fans of the original will get a totally new experience this time around. This makes us think they may have something more along the lines of the action-soaked fourth entry in the franchise in mind for this one. Let's hope it's more Resident Evil 4 and less Resident Evil 6. 
It's also been confirmed that unlike the original, you will actually be able to play as Carlos at various intervals, which will reveal more about the backstory than we had been given first time around. This is particularly exciting to us, because any extra additions to the gloriously convoluted lore of Resident Evil are always welcomed with open arms, and a chance to play as Carlos should really add some variety to the gameplay, much like how your brief time playing as Ada in Resident Evil 2 with her own weapons and playstyle was a welcome diversion. Another change to the gameplay is Capcom's decision to make the hunters unable to leap around when coming after you. It seems the focus this time around has been on making them feel more reptilian, keeping close to the ground and harder to pin down. This is truly terrifying to think about, and we can already tell that we're going to get more than a few sleepless nights as a result of them. And number 10, Extra Inclusions. Yes, those who buy the game won't just get a glorious HD remake of Resident Evil 3, they'll also get a copy of Resident Evil Resistance, as confirmed at the end of the game's trailer. Resistance, which will serve as the game's multiplayer mode, is an isometric game pitting four survivors against one mastermind that was first revealed at the Tokyo Game Show 2019. The game's mastermind will be able to control zombies and set maps to try and stop the survivors while they must try and outwit them in turn. At the time, it was believed that this would be a standalone title, but now we know it'll come packaged with the Resident Evil 3 remake. It sounds like it could be a lot of fun, but we're surprised by the decision to name one of its characters Martin Sandwich. Perhaps this is some roundabout reference to Jill Sandwich. They have a popular meme from the first game, but we can only speculate about that. But there you have it guys, everything we know about the Resident Evil 3 remake. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Let us know in the comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you next time with some more video game content.